Hello, this video is going to go over how to change the password on your GWCMS software, how to add a user account, and how to create groups to organize those user accounts. So for starters, you're going to click on account management. Then if you want to edit the password for the administrator, double click on here. And the old password by default is going to be the 888-888. And then in here, you could just type in whatever you want. So I'm just going to put in something here. OK. And then once you sign out, it's going to require your new password. And once you open CMS again, then you have to put in the new password. Please note that this is not in any way related to the NVR itself. This is unique to the CMS software. So if you have uh, a business and employees know the CMS software, that doesn't necessarily mean they'll know the NVR password. So it is separate, so make sure you treat it separately. Now going back to the account management, uh, here we only have one user. If I wanted to click add here, I could add another administrator. And I can make whatever name I want and put in the password for that. But if I want to create another group with specific permissions, I have to go, go over here and click on group and click add. So here I'm just going to put manager. And if you want to put a description, you can put whatever you want there. Now let's say for instance, I want them to be able to do almost everything, but maybe I don't want them to be able to uh, mess with any of the configurations on the unit or mess with the alarm settings, any of that stuff. Uh, maybe I just want them to be able to do playback for instance. So I could deselect everything. And then now whenever they log in, they'll only be able to do playback. And this is for any manager you create. Also, uh, as you can see here, I have uh, two devices. So this one is for when I'm on location and this one's for when I'm remote. So if I only want them to be able to use CMS on location, then I will deselect that. Now, if I go back to username and click add, I could just change it to manager and put in whatever I need to put. And now they will automatically have any of the permissions I give to the manager group. And you can always go back in here and edit them. And over here, you can go in and change the password or delete them entirely. And that about sums up Account Manager for CMS.